Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Tempestlotter here, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to level up quick, find the boss room, and solo the boss with the new dungeon tower update that we got with Sword Burst 3 and Alpha. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, first thing you need to do is you need to get to level 15, and once you do, head over to Blossom over here. Blossom will give you a repeatable quest called Intense Mooses. All you gotta do is defeat five Sakura Mooses, and I want you all to do that until you reach level 20. Every now and then, Sakura Mooses will drop Aquamarine, which you can use to level up your um, epic level armor and weapons, but I recommend not doing that until later. So once you get to level 20, what you gotta do is come over to the warp stone here and teleport to the next area which is where the boss tower is but if you haven't done that then I'm going to show you how to get to the tower right now so what you got to do is come over here past the little things here once you do that you just go over this little bridge and you'll go under these little tower things once again past this tree and once you get to this little waterfall over here all it is is a straight shot up there so let's go ahead and speed this up one more time And there you go, now you're at the boss tower. Now that you're level 20, all you gotta do is come over to this Alpha Adventure over here. He'll give you a level 20 quest, the Tower Dungeon. Once you do that, you'll have to defeat 10 of the Sakura Muses. So, once you've done that, then you can just come over here. I recommend getting this Waystone here. That way you can just teleport back and forth. But as soon as you've done that quest for the Alpha Adventure, Teleport back over here, get your claim, and then these doors will open. Now once the doors are open and you're now in the dungeon, I recommend getting this waystone here so you can still have little areas to teleport to. So you don't have to go there, go in, you can just teleport right in. And then you'll just come over to Amber. Now her quest is level 20, but it's called Minion Hunt. It's to defeat five soldier boars. Now I'm going to accept this, and I'm going to show you how to defeat five soldier boars very quickly. This is also what you need to do to level up quickly. I recommend doing this until you get to level 22. So as you see all these soldier boars, I want you to just forget about them. Come over here to this little path here. Now you can just skip the whole thing, but for you, I'm just going to jump it. Now once you get to this little area can AFK a little soldier boar that spawns over there, but what I recommend is going over here. And here you got three soldier boars. I want you to defeat them. They're very easy to defeat. Also, what I recommend is using the great sword for this and upgrading your meteor strike oh, and your fisher strike. So once you just come over here, go ahead and use your skills and the soldier boars. Now they do sometimes get stuck in the things, but they're not really stuck. They're stuck because there's a little barrier here for them, so sometimes they'll get stuck in there, but they'll just come right back out. Now once you've defeated those three over there, once you well once you've defeated this one and you defeat these two this one should respawn again and once that happens you just defeat it and then don't go for those go out here and on your way back towards the npc once you get past here like this there will normally be a soldier boar right here. Here it is, stuck right back here. And 
then defend all of that. And then there you go, that's five. And you see quest complete, return to NPC. Oh didn't mean to do that. And you can just return to Amber, talk to her, get your claim, and then you'll get your reward. I recommend doing that all the way to twenty two because that's where we'll be heading next is where the boss room is now once you've done the quest for amber and you've got to level 22 all you got to do is come up here go back over to this side where this parkour area is and like i said you can jump the whole thing so you just do that and you can jump the whole thing now once you're back over here instead of going over to the right side You'll be coming over to the left. You'll have another little parkour area. You can also skip this whole thing. I recommend jumping on this and then you can jump the whole thing. But now that you've got past that, you'll just come into this little area right here. Make a left and you'll come down here. As you can see right here, this is the little area for the uh, boss. It's kind of like a maze. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now to actually get to the little boss room door, there are two ways. The long way and the shortcut way. I recommend doing the long way for your first time just so you can get through everything. And then I will also show you the shortcut way once we're done with the first one. So for the long one, all you got to do is come over here. You'll see these two basilisks. Just forget about them for now. Once you see this, you'll just hop over here, then you'll make a little right turn, and you'll keep going to the right until you see another, uh, the bridge here. You go past that, you'll get to another one, oh, if you fall you can just jump back up, it's fine. You'll also make another right turn once you're up here then a left then you'll get to this bridge right here then you'll just have to go over it make another right turn and you got this bridge you can just skip that like that then it's on to this bridge you'll just jump over these Next all you gotta do is just go straight, make a left, and you'll do a turn if you want. There's also a chest there you can get. Once you get here, all you gotta do is come up through these, make a right, and you'll just go a little further until you get to this little big open area. Then you'll make another right here. And then, whoop, looks like I fell. And then there you go, you are now to the boss room. Now for the shortcut time. So what you want to do is get your little stamina bar here all the way up. And then you'll just come here, jump, use two, get here. Then jump again, once more. Then you'll just come down here. And you'll not jump up there. So you'll keep using your little stamina boost to get to right here, jump up, and don't go that way, you'll go over here, and you'll just jump there, and then once again you'll just jump into this little area here. Now once you've done that, you got your stamina back up, jump from the corner here, skip all that. You can also jump over this. And once you do that, you'll stand on this one with your stamina to get up, and you'll jump over this side. Jump all over the rocks, jump up here, and then that's the shortcut to get to the boss room. Now that you've made it to the door for the boss room, you'll see the Alpha Adventure here. You'll go ahead and talk to him. What you'll do is, now that you're level 22, you can do Slimy Poison. It's a repeatable quest to defeat 10 Basilisks. Now, once you've done, accepted that quest, you'll come over here, past the bridge here, into this little 
big open area right here. Now, sometimes there are two. Uh, the second one sometimes will go over here, so I recommend luring it over to this one. And once it's over here, what you'll do is you'll just use your meteor shot. Make sure not to get poisoned, otherwise that will kill you. And when they're gone, I recommend mighting this aquamarine. So instead of just facing the soccer mooses, you can actually mine the aquamarine now. And that will give you aquamarine and pure aquamarine every now and then. That's why I was saying to just not upgrade your armor yet, because you can grind the actual crystals by mining them and you can uh, level them up more quicker that way so since you're killing two at a time you'll get this quest done very quickly so once you've done uh, killed them ten times and you're done mining aquamarine as well of course you'll just come over back to the alpha adventurer and once you're back with him You'll just get your claim, and you'll do that until you're level 23. Now, once you're, I recommend actually doing it once you're level 24, because this one you'll actually have to defeat 20 of the basilisks. And I recommend doing the same strategy that you did for the repeatable quest, still getting all marine. And once you come back here and get your claim, these doors will be open. But I still recommend doing that until you get to level 25. So now that you're level 25 and you've grinded some aquamarine, what I recommend doing is sitting in this little area or still go over there doing that little tactic and over leveling which will give you more skill points every time you over level. And I recommend of course upgrading your fisher skill, meteor strike, regeneration, and your wall run skill. Now for me, I've upgraded everything for all my over levels, but I recommend actually doing it for the great sword because these four skills down here will be very essential in defeating the boss. So now that you've done the little tactic here to level up and mine Aquamarine at the same time, and you're now max level at 25, and you've also leveled up all of these skills, which I recommend using from the very beginning when you were playing to start leveling the, these up. So you don't uh, have to just sit here whole time doing that. But um, once you've got enough Aquamarine, it's 65 to level up one piece of epic level armor and legendary level armor. That includes weapons as well. So once you've got at least 65 of that and you have this great sword and armor, I recommend leveling up the great sword over at the little Sakura area. But once you have that leveled up, all you gotta do is just come back to the little door here. Go through it and you'll just have to go down the stairs here. You can get there a little quicker every now and then if you jump and use your dash once it's leveled up now that you're in the boss room there will normally be people here as you can see but if you get into this area and you're the only one here um, I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, defeat the boss by yourself you also should do it if there's multiple people here, but I'm going to show you how to do it by yourself real quick with just the armor maxed out and the armor, the armor and the sword maxed out, but you can also do it with just the sword maxed out. Almost there. Zero. Now. Always stay behind the boss. Make sure you always do that. There are two skills with the great sword that you always have to use. You have to know how to use them as well.
Meteor Strike does a lot of damage, so it's good to get out the little grunts. But, they do respawn until the boss is gone. Remember that, all the grunts will respawn until the boss is gone. Remember, always stay behind him. Always make sure you're using the Meteor Strike skill and the Fisher skill. Always stay behind him. The max damage. Back up. I also recommend using shift lock as well. That will help immensely. With always staying behind the boss and when you're trying to back up quickly with your uh, dash skill. Hey, I overleveled. Now when he's done with that, use this skill, get behind him, and then use your Meteor Strike skill. Use it again. And there you go. That's how to solo the boss with uh, the armor and great sword from Crazy Wolf. Now I do recommend maxing it out, of course, but that's how to do it. So now that you've defeated the boss, you should be going ahead and grinding for the weapons and the armor. You have this great sword and armor, and I only have one of the long sword, but I will be streaming, uh, trying to get this other long sword, which is actually today, the day you're watching this video, so go ahead and join the stream if you want to do that. It will be at 4 o'clock, round an hour after the video is uploaded, so go ahead and join the stream for that. But, now that you've defeated the boss and you're grinding for these, you should be set for next week when we uh, get a new update for pure aquamarine we can up uh upgrade stuff with that but if you're watching this video during the beta then this is just how to get everything quickly uh leave a comment if it was helpful and remember to subscribe the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a video or when i go live and yeah remember to also like the video share it with friends so they can also get uh, some help on anything else, like if they need to find the boss, solo the boss, whatever. So, yep, share with a friend. But, yeah guys, this has been your boy, Tempasato, signing out. Peace, guys.